Joining us now, the former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. President Poroshenko, thanks for being with us this morning. We just detailed how the Biden administration is going to be sending that much more military equipment and to Ukraine. But you're finding it seems as if that might not be enough as you're traveling Europe, trying to purchase military vehicles for the forces there in your country. Tell us about it. Are your allies falling short in giving you what you need? First of all, let me sincerely congratulate the friendly American people with uh, your Independence Day and your example of the mature democracy uh, help us Ukrainians shoulder to shoulder to fight for freedom, for democracy, against dictatorship, against uh, autocracy. And uh, I think that the leadership of the American president, Joe Biden, uh, Congress and people is help us a lot. But weapons is never enough. And uh, you are absolutely right. I just uh, returned just about five days ago. I was in Bakhmut, and where now is Sibiya fighting on the east of my country. Uh, but uh, yesterday I was in Italy where we bought the armed vehicle, the most modern NATO standard, with the first ever uh, export license of NATO to Ukraine. And within next week, I hope, keep my fingers crossed, that this uh, vehicle, armed personal vehicle, would be in the Ukrainian armed forces helping us to provide a counterattack. And uh, your wep weapons, including the Howitzer 777, including the HIMAX, the multi uh, rocket launch system, artillery system, drones, missiles, everything we needed as a as an air, because uh, we have uh, great armed forces, and I am proud that since year 2014, me as a Supreme Commander in Chief of Ukrainian Armed Forces, create this army together with your assistance, based on NATO standard, with the training of NATO instructor. And now we demonstrate that second biggest army in the world. We stop them, we throw them away from Kiev. And today we have a very severe uh, fighting on the eastern and the south. And now war is different. Now war is the war of artillery, war of drones, war of missiles, war of multi-rocket launch system. And with that situation, definitely, unfortunately, Russia has a 10, 15, on some part of the front, 20 times bigger than we are. And only professionalism, mm -hmm. only the strong motivation of Ukraine help us to defend, help us to win. Yeah, we heard from President Biden and other NATO leaders last week saying that they would support Ukraine as long as it takes in terms of sending military equipment. But you just mentioned the fierce fighting there in the Donbass, in eastern Ukraine. The Russians are claiming they now control the Luhansk region, uh, and they believe they use it as a, a spot to jump off into the next region, continuing their attacks uh, across the east. Give us the sense, what do you know of where things stand right now in the Donbass, Mr. President? I have uh, on the, my uh, connection with the brigade, which is now on the uh, east, and I definitely can confirm that in some part of Lugansk region, we still have uh, the Ukrainian troops. And this is definitely not all of Donbass Russia control. This is the propaganda machine. But I can confirm that the fighting is absolutely uh, severe. And uh, with that situation, I want to send a message that uh, we, uh, 40 million Ukrainians now, is part of the armed forces. And uh, definitely everyone fighting in their own uh, place, but we are ready the same like we do in the beginning of the war when from this part we fighting against Russian tank who were just five kilometers from here. We 100% I, w I want to assure you that we deliberate uh, uh, all the occupied part of Ukraine, all occupied Donbass, uh, south region where now also stay uh, my battalion, which I participate in creation. And definitely we need more weapons, more ammunition, exactly what you propose to us with the Land Lease Act. And we are absolutely interested that the same Land Lease Act should be done by all NATO member states. Same with the supply of the new anti-aircraft missiles. 
with the new radar system, with the we keep our fingers crossed that it should be also jet fighters, at least uh, the old Soviet style where we have the best pilot in the world and we want to control the sky uh, because the, on the Donbass, Russia has a, uh, unfortunately a very strong control on the sky, which creates a big headache for Ukrainian forces. Right. But we will fight for every single meter of Ukrainian soil. Uh, and certainly heavy losses being taken on both sides right now. Former President of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, thank you for being with us saying good luck continuing in your country's battle here.